Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. It was interesting how many people uh, around me experienced cramps and um, people said cramps is basically something unexplained, muscle spasm and there's nothing to do about this. Well, no, you can help yourself not to have cramps anymore. Everything that I mentioned in this video will be in video description. You can click and order with one click from Amazon. I got no affiliations with those products. It's just cheap things that will help you not to suffer anymore. When I talk about cramps, it's basically, basically any muscle spasm. So what muscle spasm? By the way, our heart is muscle as well. So you got, uh, I'm not a doctor, but if you got heart that's skipping a bit, most likely it's a deficiency of electrolyte. If you sleep and you have leg cramp, most likely deficiency of electrolyte. If you exercise and your muscles are either weak or cramping, most likely deficiency of electrolyte. So electrolytes, I just would like quickly to uh, uh, recap. Electrolytes would be potassium, magnesium, sodium, calcium. We have enough calcium in our diet and there, there is a, you need to deal with the calcium anyway because the calcium is really bad in the blood and really good in the bones. So there are the vitamins and minerals that will help you to get your calcium from a bloodstream to bones. But generally speaking, regardless of your diet, unless you are in really hard junk food diet, you have enough calcium in your body. And I believe people following my channel would not be on junk diet. diet. They may be not on a perfect diet or, or, or food consumption, but any food but 100% junk food diet will have enough calcium in it. Now we're dealing with sodium, magnesium, potassium. Let's chip away the easiest one, sodium. And you say, oh yeah, well, I've got enough salt in my diet. Yes, you may have enough salt in your diet, but enough doesn't mean quality. I would suggest that the salt costs very little money. Focus on the quality of salt. Ditch the table salt. It's deprived of all minerals and basically doesn't provide much benefit to your body. Uh, for almost the same money, you can buy sea salt or Himalayan salt. They've got different mineral compositions, but both of them, they are great. So consuming your diet, sea salt or Himalayan salt. Now we're moving to potassium and magnesium. The easiest one to talk about is potassium. And just remember the muscle, it's contraction and relaxation. So in a nutshell, besides other physiological functions, they also call it uh, potassium sodium pump. That's what electrolytes are. There's a positive and negative electron. One is inside the cell, one is outside the cell, and they exchange and help you to fire up the muscle. So if you're deficient in, in potassium, it will pull uncontrollably, if you're deficient in sodium, it will push. And by the way, if you deprive yourself from sodium completely, you will die because your heart is a muscle. It requires sodium to function, right? But if that balance is broken between potassium and sodium, you will have cramps, right? So what you need to do is to ensure that you have enough sodium and potassium in your diet. What I'm talking about. We just uh, finished with summer in Australia and uh, Europe and Americas will have uh, summer coming soon. In the summer, we tend to drink more water, which is amazing. You need to stay hydrated. What happens when you drink water and especially when you drink tea or coffee or other beverages and especially if you're drinking uh, uh, soft drinks, which I don't believe you do, but if you still do, it depletes your minerals your electrolytes first thing to go from your system would be sodium and potassium and you can actually smell it in your skin when you sweat um, a little bit of sweat and you, and you it tastes salty both sodium and potassium have salty taste in them 
you excrete so much um, electrolytes when you're either doing keto or carnivore diet or exercise or visiting sauna or you just have active lifestyle that you do need to replete your sodium and potassium levels. I always suggest people to get both of those from food but for example like myself like very active person I cannot get enough sodium and potassium from food so I supplement um, I, I use most of the time Himalayan salt and potassium I buy as a potassium hydrochloride um, in Australia it's cheap it's I think $30 a kilo and kilo lasts me for almost half a year so what I'll do in the morning when I wake up I drink my coffee actually I posted uh, my video for my morning routine before going to gym I have around half teaspoon of crushed salt in my coffee you wake up dehydrated and what you do naturally when you wake up in the morning and go to gym you drink a lot you're already so depleted you need it in your system so salt is important and i add potassium post-workout for sauna into my breakfast potassium is a comes as a powder so just sprinkle on your breakfast another half teaspoon would do magnesium it sits in between sodium and potassium one push one pull and magnesium relaxes the muscle if your mu muscle would be always firing it will get fatigued and never recover you do need magnesium to recover and re rejuvenate rebuild the muscle so there's a different types of magnesium in the market so uh, one magnesium would help you to prep muscle for exercise it's a magnesium malate and one will help you to relax them and go to sleep and actually sleep well it's part of your night routine by the way i link all the videos as well at the end of my video uh, please watch them you've got morning and night routine so if you would like to ensure good uncramped sleep uh, consume enough sodium potassium during the day potassium before going to sleep with magnesium glycinate and when you wake up in the morning sodium or salt with magnesium malate and that way you sleep without cramps you exercise without cramps and your muscle will have opportunity to recover and rejuvenate as well i hope this video you find it helpful if you like this video or any other videos to my channel please hit the subscribe button hit notification bell so you won't miss any of my future videos and stay tuned you also more than welcome to comment down below if you would like me to create uh, more videos on that subject. Thank you so much for watching. Greg from Brisbane, Australia.